Hi everybody, so I'm just going to run through this example with you. So in 20, 1998, this was our um, tuition, so this is 1998, and by 2018, it, it, this is our tuition. Okay, so, oh, so there's 1998, there's 2018. God that equals this, and this is the increase in tuition, right? So tuition increased to $5,336, right? So I want you to please calculate the percentage increase. That's what inflation is. What is the percentage increase? Do you remember how to get a percentage change? Percentage change is increase or decrease over original. You put the change over the original. Whether it goes up or down, you put the change over the original to get the change original to get the percent change, right? Or that's the so you put the increase over the original. What was the original amount? What was the increased amount, right? So it's over a 20 year period, 2018 minus 1998, yeah, it's 20 years, but we don't actually use that 20 in this calculation because we just asked for the 20 year inflation rate anyhow. So we just go the increase over the original is this number over this number, okay? You put the increase over the original, that's 1.95. Um, so approximately 195%, round to the nearest whole number percent, right? approximately 195 percent. Now so we have an inflation rate of 195 percent over this 20 year period because the tuition rent from 2700 to 8000 in 20 years, right? If this were to continue to 2038 what would happen? Well how much would it increase by? You see it's gone from um, uh, you know, 1998, we have 2,736. 2018, we have 8,072. So what's it going to be by 2038? That's another 20 years time, right? So what's it going to be? So here the increase is 195%. That's 5,000, you know, that's your $5,336. 195 percent so we're going to say it's in going to if, it, if it, it continues this way it'll increase by another 195 percent from 2018 to 2038 right so we get 195 percent of what it was in 2018 right if this trend continues 195 percent of what it was in 2018 okay so that's 1.95 times 8072 and that gives us about 15 1700 right but that's the increase amount see that's the increase amount the inflation rate is 195 percent that isn't the answer what's the answer that is not what the tuition is going to be in 2038 what's it going to be in 2038 can you figure it out see that's just the increase amount the tuition would increase by that amount, but we got to add this to what it was in 2018. So you add it to the 8,000 to get 23,812. And if you round it to nearest thousand, that's going to be 24,000, isn't it? So by 2038, we'll be about 24,000. Now, for goodness sakes, who knows what it'll be? It could be free. Uh, all classes could be online for free, taught by automated automation. Who knows what? I mean, who knows what it's going to be by 2038? We're just saying that if it increases that way, that's what it will be. And by golly, wouldn't it be so silly to put in the 40 cents? I mean, we're making a 20-year prediction. Don't put in the 40 cents. Don't be ridiculous, right? That we got to think of it, this, guys. Come on. So that's why we're rounding to the nearest thousand, right? We're just saying if, it, if the trend continues, that's what it will be. But we're not saying, um, you know, I mean, we can't, we can't, we can't put in like 812 or put in the 40 cents. Um, that would be crazy, right? You can't, you can't be that exact with a 20-year prediction, right? So, so when we're talking about rounding in this class, I hope you've seen that that like rounding depends on the problem. Like if you're trying to figure out your monthly mortgage payment, it's kind of nice to get that down to at least the nearest dollar. 
because you want to know how much you're going to have to spend per month down to the dollar. That would be great, right? But if you're calculating a, a prediction in 20 years' time, sheesh, round it to the nearest thousand. It's a prediction. We don't know. It, maybe the whole school will be shut down by then. Who knows what will happen in 20 years' time, right? So, um, so, I, but, uh, and then we had cases what we saw in this class that, you know, if you're rounding something and then you use that number to calculate with inside the calculation, then it's going to throw you off. So, um, just uh, think about think about the problem when you're thinking about rounding. It it just depends on the problem, and this class is all about trying to understand what's going on, right?